Well, folks, here we are. Now, this video is not my normal format, but it's okay to change things up from time to time. Now, why this video, you may ask? How does this affect me? Because the growing channels out there that you know and love could easily get duped by this abomination that will make demonetization look like child's play. And I don't mean the movie either. I'm looking at you, Chucky. Or maybe you are a rising creator looking to make that sweet, sweet cash. You go to check your business email and lo and behold, this random company has seen interest in your channel and wants to sponsor you. All you gotta do is go to their website, try out their program, record some footage for B-roll, do a voiceover, and submit it to them to look over and decide if it's worth using. Sounds great, right? Wrong. Now, I haven't gone to these sites per se. I'm not that naive. See, I, I work a normal day job, and in that day job, I actually get training on how to spot uh, suspicious phishing emails. And believe me, if, it, if I wasn't so scrupulous, I myself might have fallen for one of these emails because they seem really, really good. And I'm here to go over these emails and teach you how to be wary of them in the future. So take this one example. It says, Hi, my name is Daniel. I am representative. The advertising company will create gaming. We'll create this software that allows you to connect to our cloud gaming server thereby playing and broadcasting games without downloading them all the connection goes through the internet. We are interested in on your YouTube channel. We have thoroughly studied the statistics of your channel and are ready to offer you pre-roll 15, 10 to 15 seconds at the beginning of the video, $720. A brief overview of our application, 1.5 minutes, $950. If you are satisfied with this offer, please write to me. This email is not spam. So look at this. It's even formatted to look all fancy. Do not fall for it. If it looks like spam, it's spam, first of all. Uh, second, the English is just way off. It looks like someone just put their language through Google Translate and let us do its thing. This is the number one sign of a scam. Second, this is a good chunk of change to be offering someone unless they're like super famous for getting tons of views on their content. Even someone as big as Marco Style is estimated only $2,500 a month in YouTube partnership ads. So this is pretty big amounts to be throwing in for, you know, a single video here. Um, however, some of these emails are well worded. You can tell that these are different people, suggesting that there's actually a group of people behind this and not just one person. Take this one, for example. It says, Hello, I'm Oscar. I am a representative of the Will Create team. We are creating software with which you can run any games from your computer. This is called cloud gaming. You may have heard something about it. So any person with a weak computer will be able to play games will be able to play any branded games. We offer you cooperation with our team on favorable terms. We have innovative developments. We want to know if it is possible to order advertising on your channel and how much it will cost. To be honest, I don't know much all about this, but our company is willing to pay you well. We would like to order your review of our program because you have a gaming audience as well as good statistics and cool made videos. We hope for fruitful cooperation. It's not spam. And if you are interested in cooperation, I am waiting for your answer. I will send you documentation about our program and terms of cooperation. You're sincerely blah, blah, blah. And this person actually did respond, uh, says, sure, I would like to be in such co corporation. Can you tell me more about the service? Because I searched about it and I can't find anything. That's another red flag, by the way. And, of course, this person uh, replied back. Thanks for your reply. I will send you advertising task. Check it out for more information. Regards, Oscar. And right at the bottom there, you can see things are in Russia. Or Russian. And sent to him in a text file, which... Don't trust anything, even if it is a text file, because you can embed executables in text files. 
In fact, I believe the original Unreal Tournament had a text file that was actually an executable inside of it. So, do be careful. And then he replies back and says, Do you agree? Well, the thing is, at least I don't think he got uh, hit in this case. Because he's actually a friend of uh, Mind Your Games. So, Mind Your Games actually warned him, Hey, don't do it. <laughs> but for the most part, it sounds legit, right? Well, wrong. A professional email won't have to elaborate that it isn't spam. We saw that in the last one as well. Second, how are you going to be behind a company that is supposedly so heavily invested in technology and not even have a company email to go with your domain purchase? It's, it, it's ludicrous. The last thing to watch out for, though, is called a call to action. Uh, basically, they make the offer enticing. Uh, these emails uh, have been really smart. They've kind of been downplaying the uh, the whole click here now or, you know, kind of putting exclamation points in and all that. Uh, but you do see it all the time in phishing emails, though. You know, click here to be resolving your account or forfeit your accessing. Your account are been locked. Uh, no. <laughs> However, I do feel that the high pay is actually their call to action in this regard. The enticement is this sweet, sweet cash. Uh, there is another thing. Tip, uh, sponsors typically won't approach you in Discord or Facebook. Uh, sadly, this is how another YouTuber, uh, Amber, got hit. It turns out they had messaged him first on Facebook, but with no reply, and actually went to his Discord as Cloud Gaming. Of course, Amber has never had a sponsor before, and you know because of that, it's not naive to all of this. Uh, these people knew this because they had targeted him. Only 14,500 subs. And that's not making a ton of money, right? So why not make some quick money? The person even went to make a comment on one of Amber's videos for him to reply to make it seem legit for verification so that they could verify that it was Amber's channel. Um, see, what happens when you go and visit these sites and try to install their software... It, it'll run, but you don't see anything. You reply back and say, hey, your software sucks, it doesn't do anything, and all the meanwhile, what the program has actually done is take your Google login session, as well as your computer's identifying digital markers that Google uses, and copy them over into their own computer. It sends it to them. Now, they can open up Chrome, signed in as you, Chrome thinks it's your computer, and the person now goes and sets their own personal email as the manager of your channel brand and removes you. Now you have no channel. You get an email confirming this. You are no longer the owner of your channel. And now you're freaking out because this has been your life, your livelihood at stake. They also hook in their own AdSense account to start make, taking the revenue and remove yours. And even if you haven't made a lot of money, those videos are a part of you. Uh, many of these YouTubers have private videos, they have backed up uh, personal videos of birthdays, weddings, special moments they hold dear, which is now being held digitally hostage by nefarious deeds. You plead for help, but of course, being a smaller channel, you get put on the back burner. I saw one tweet, it took 67 days, over two months for this one guy to get his channel back, and the AdSense account was still having issues now and payments weren't being sent. I'm following Team YouTube. It, they were tagging Team YouTube. Now, the account stays in holding initially. Um, nothing really seems to happen with it. And then it gets sold off and a new manager is set. And it seems they're actually using Facebook Marketplace and Facebook Groups to manage the buying and selling of these commandeered channels um, on, you know, in other countries. Um, once they're purchased... A ton of media ends up getting posted, most of it either copyrighted material or ad segments for like cryptocurrency. Uh, Irsha Gaming, uh, I believe the quartering did a huge thing on her. She ended up getting her channel back, but she ended up having Japanese game shows from TBS Japan being aired as premieres constantly. The comments were disabled, but you know, leave the live chat because, well, who cares, right? It's not like you worked hard to get those subs, just throw away the intent audience, right? Um, Anyway, so who are these guys? Well, I've personally dug around and found that this entity 
has used a single email to register all of these domains. Uh, there's wicreate.su, willcreate.su, waltez.su, cloudgaming.space, audio.su, and narosi.su. I am going to warn you, do not visit these websites. Unless you want your stuff hacked, unless you want your, your, your stuff stolen, do not visit these websites. Um, they've all been registered through uh, this website I can't pronounce. It looks like Baguette or Baget or Baget in, in Russia. Um, I've already sent the information I've been able to gather to the, uh, to the registrar there. Uh, so don't worry, you don't have to do that. I've already done it. Uh, but you can verify the information yourself through a simple uh, who is search. You can just Google, you know, who is, and it'll be the first result of who is lookup, and you can type in websites and find out the registered email address and everything. Now, I actually do wish this was the end. I really do. However, it seems they have made some improvements to their little program lately. Uh, Mind Your Games was actually hit with the same phishing scam, and it was a little later than a lot of the other uh, stories that I've been seeing ended up losing his channel, and also his second channel. And then he started seeing login attempts that, thanks to the site's security through sites like Twitter, have been blocked by two-factor authentication. By the way, this bypasses two-factor authentication because, because, it gets, because the computer that they're using gets seen as your computer, which is supposedly a trusted device. So, yay. But, uh... <laughs> Things like Twitter, um, the login attempts have been from Russia and also showing from Lebanon, according to the IPs. Uh, Amber has still been following up and being in contact with this person and uh, I guess doing something. I don't want to go into the details. I don't know the details of how, but uh, apparently they're using a, some free VPN that's easy to probe and found out that they're still spoofing out of Russia to show that they're in a different country. Um, I guess they were trying to say that they're in LA too. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna ask how he did that, but uh, cool. But uh, what this really means is that even if you get your channel back, it could still be in danger of being taken again. I theorized it to be possible, but they went ahead and did it. They took that session ID and they used Chrome's syncing feature to then steal passwords, thanks Chrome, by the way, for just needing Windows security and not your actual Google password to show the passwords that you have in your manager, um, as well as any other data. Your web history, your credit card data, everything is at risk. In addition, it installs a file that looks like a system file has the same name as a system file. Uh, the one I saw was like winloginui.exe. But in reality, it's a crypto miner that is now slowing down your PC and churning bits for the dastardly demons. Now, if you do fall prey to this attack, thanks to this new information, I do have a few steps for you to take. Number one, remove all devices from your Google account as trusted devices, except your two-factor authentication device, which is usually your cell phone. Second, change your Google password. Third, run an antivirus scan and make sure you change your Google password, by the way, from a separate device. Um, but yes, run an antivirus scan. And then four, either back up your media files and game saves and reinstall Windows, which is the safest case in any underlying, if any uh, underlying executables exist, or a simpler option is to change your PC's name so that it now registers as a different computer to Google. But I can't guarantee that that's going to save things, again, in case any underlying executable still exists there. Um, but five, change all of your passwords. Inside Chrome, you can actually access uh, all of these stored uh, passwords that you have and you can see what sites they're for. And if you need to see it, um, again, 
thanks Google for only requiring, you know, Google's or Windows security to go ahead and yeah. <laughs> but uh, you'll have access to see all the websites that you need now need to change your uh, passwords for. Um, by the way, um, special thanks to both Amber and Mind Your Games, who have been in uh, direct messages with me on Twitter, uh, sharing these images with me and allowing to, me to use them for this video. Um, I'm now linking to both their channels now down in the description. They have been a big help in helping me uncover the steps involved, the additional things happening lately, as well as the side effects. All right, uh, well, you kings, queens, jokers out there, keep on shuffling forward, and until next time, this has been Ace, and peace.